good depending on where you're joining us from. I'm Fortune if Young, I'm a medical laboratory scientist, and I also work as the National Secretary of Health in Nigeria. I'm really excited to be here, and we are really looking forward to an amazing experience. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. So do we have Dr. Pearl here? Dr. Pearl Adu is from the Ghanaian team. King Carl is from the Ghanaian team. So if you're here, please you meet and speak. If you're not, we'll just go over to the Nepalese team, the Aparna team of coordinators. Yeah. All right. Looks like there's some challenge. So um, Devika, are you here? Devika, if you're here, please unmute and speak. Or anybody from the Nepalese team. Okay. So we can take the introductions later. So I think we'll go to the next item on the um, agenda. We're already running behind schedule. Again, I urge you to please um, stay muted. Okay. The next agenda we're talking about the mentoring program. In other words, what, what are we doing here? What are we doing here? So, as I mentioned in the introduction. Essentially, what we're doing is see how we can see how we can um, help to bring those who have the expertise, the knowledge, bring them together with those who need the expertise and their knowledge. This is a whole hundred percent voluntary process. Again, if you could please mute your mics so that there'll be very little background noise, I would really appreciate that. Thank you so much, everybody. Please keep your mics muted. Thank you. All right. Thank you. There's a lot. There was a lot of background noise there. So we're going to bring. We're trying to bring those who have the expert, who have the expertise, who have the knowledge together, so that everybody can grow. In the words of Jim Quick, when you teach something, you get to learn it twice. It's benefit for the mentor and the mentee. The, ment the benefit to the mentor and the mentee is that everybody at the end of this program is going to grow. And we we'll really love it that at the end of this program, you'd be willing to give us, you'd be willing to give us um, feedback. Also, it has a blog post that, you, that we often invite people to come and give us their feedback, write a blog post so that others can see, know that this kind of thing is happening and they can sign up for the program. So um, the program officially starts today. And as we mentioned in when we're doing the men, when we're doing the call, it was supposed to, it's supposed to be a six-month program and it will still be a six-month program. And we're expecting that by now the mentees will have reached out to the mentors. And we also wish to inform everybody that in every kind of mentoring program, it is a mentee-driven process because the mentor is very busy. They're doing this particular one on a wholly 100% volunteer basis. So if the mentee does not reach out or the mentee does not show much interest, does not drive the process, then the process isn't likely to grow. You are unable to, you're, not, you're unlikely to benefit from the program. And we, we, our plan is that halfway through the program, we will have another check-in meeting, just like the one we're doing now. And then at the end of the program, at the end of six months, we're going to have another check-in. We're going to have another check-in meeting. Um, so that at that midterm review, so that if there's anything we need to review, we can review. If there's anything we can do better, we can do better. And then at the end, that's when we're going to get feedback so that for the next cohort, we can build all our learnings into it and all of us can benefit. At the end of this program, we're also hoping that mentees who have benefited from this program can sign up as mentors and give back to the same system that gave to them. So this is where I'm going to stop. I'm going to allow my other coordinators from the three teams, Nigeria, Ghana, Nepal, to speak. So if you have any, if there's anything I've left out, there's something you wish to add, do please unmute and speak, and then we can move to the next agenda. Thank you. I'll just, I'll just mute. Yeah. 
Okay. Okay, somebody was asking me to unmute. I've unmuted. Is there something you'd like me to say? Or have I muted you? Team of coordinators, Nigeria, Ghana, Nepal, please unmute and speak. Or if you can make it easier for me, you can just raise hand and then I'll take turns on muting you. Sorry, Dr. Zainab. Yes, please. Can you hear me? Yes, I can. Thank yeah, you. I, think uh, I think we've already you've already started on a very good note. Um <clears throat> and I, I think essentially you've said what uh, uh what we would have I would have loved to say. So I don't know if other persons have anything to say other than that, then maybe we can start attending to participant questions because we have some questions from emails. So maybe I was wondering if we could start. Um... Okay, so I, I agree with you 100%. Send it now. Okay, thank you. Except if somebody, if anybody on the team has a different um, submission, I think I agree that we can go to Q and yeah, I, I, I agree that. Yeah, I yes. agree that we should move on with the question. Maybe some of the things that we may have to. My name is Ukeriel. So I agree that we move on. Please mute your microphones. Um, admin, please mute microphones. We need this place to be quiet so that we can understand ourselves, engage properly, and have a good takeoff. Uh, so we can give whatever information that may be needed as we take questions along the line. Thank you, and it's a very good pleasure to have all of us here. Thank you so much, Professor Yukiria, for that. Thank you. Okay, good. So I think we can go to Q&A now. Thank you. So if you just put up your hands and then we'll unmute you and take your questions. Please raise your hands. You know. Thank you. Um, I see a hand up from Sarah. Sarah, please unmute and speak. I've asked you to unmute. Sarah Akogenu. I hope I pronounced that right. Sorry if I did. Yes, you did. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. How are you? I'm fine, thank you. And thank you for this opportunity. Um, so my question is, um, when I got the acceptance notification mail, um, I was paired with a mentor and I already reached out to her and my um, other, my co-mentee. So now yesterday I got another mail, I got another mail hearing me and my commentary with another mentor. And now we have five mentees under the, the mentor, the new mentor. So um, I just want to find out if that was a mistake. And um, my first mentor already reached out back. So I want to know what can be done or what next to be done in that regard. Thank you. All right. Thank you very much. Um, um, so let me respond to that. My first um, response would be um, a really big apology to everybody in, you must have noticed some glitches. Some of the response emails came from personal emails. Some came from the hub email. We had some problems that we're trying to sort out. That's one. Number two, we had um, just a handful of people doing the mentee, mentor mentee matching. And then, so because of that, we were overwhelmed. In fact, I don't know if you noticed that we sent the emails a little later than what we promised. That's emails telling you that we had accepted you, that you were successful. And for those who are unsuccessful, I'm assuming none of them is here, the email to them was also a little late. So a sincere apologies for that. But having said that, now specifically to Sarah, who asked the question, what field are you in, please? I, okay, I am in the judicial field. Um, you are in what? Are in? I'm in the judicial field. Okay. GDIS field. I guess it's my network. I didn't hear her. I hear you speak, but I didn't hear what you said. The judicial field, ma'am. Okay, all right. Um, so what's going to happen? Okay, let me see if um, Fortune has some response to that before 
I go on to a submission. Yeah, sorry, Sarah, I'm wondering if you remember the name of your mentors, please. I mean, yes, I do. Yes, okay. I do. The first mentor is um, um, Dr. Um, Professor Mrs. Um, Fuakwe, Inka Fuakwe. Then the um, second one is um, Mrs. Umpa. She's a UNN. She's a librarian at UNN. Ah, okay. Thank you. We are sorry about that. We'll sort it out, please. Okay, thank you. But, but um, having said that, let me just preempt um, Mr. Fortune F. Young by saying, since your first mentor has responded, you're most likely going to continue with them. So again, apologies for that um, mix up, but just be rest assured that you're remaining in the program and you'll have a mentor. Next hand I saw up was uh, Dibia. Dibia, I saw your name a lot when we were doing the pairing. How are you Dibia? Please unmute and speak. Uh, hello and namaste everyone. I'm from Nepal. I'm Dibya Sharma and I, I have uh, my academic back, uh, background in Bachelor of Public Health and I graduated in 2021 actually, but I've been currently working in the field of disability and also uh, recently joined uh, as a research assistant in an organization. So this platform for me is one step ahead uh, that I can take for my career and thank you so much for that opportunity first of all. And what I wanted to ask is about the communication channel that we are going to establish while we are going to interact with our mentors, because I received an email of uh, that my mentor would be uh, Sangeeta Shrestha, and uh, I'm glad she is from Nepal as well. And we are, again, the team of five who, who to whom she will be uh, mentoring. So how am, how am I supposed to uh, interact with her? How am I supposed to get in touch with her? Is it through just the emails or uh, should I uh, get in touch with any other mechanism that you have? Please, uh, can you just uh, clarify me on this? Thank you so much for that, um, Sharma. Um, yes, you reach out to them first by email and then mentor and mentee teams would decide which channel of communication is best for them. I'm assuming there will, there will be a lot of emails, there will be a lot of Zoom meetings and call. But I must say, I'm really very jealous that you're from Nepal and your mentor is from Nepal. There are people from Nigeria whose mentors are in Nepal. So I'm really very jealous on their behalf. <laughs> so I hope you'll make the best of this. Thank you. So please don't forget, all this goes to all mentees. Please email your mentors. That's why we included the emails in the email we'll send to them so that they can see your email. And preferably, maybe when you're responding to them, reply to them from the email we'll send to you so that you don't have to do too long an explanation and they know it is you. So thank you. I hope we've clarified that. Except if others have something to say, I think we'll take the next person. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, Dr. Zainab, in addition to what you've said, um, well, you, yes, the first step is probably for you to respond to the email and communicate through email, but then you could suggest alternative methods of communication, right? I don't really know for Nepalese, but I know Nigerians, we are, I think we are more WhatsApp people somehow. So um, we mostly like to work with WhatsApp. So one of the what one of the teams, what we notice is that one of the teams, I think the team lead, or sorry, the the mentor created a WhatsApp group somehow and invited the mentees to join the WhatsApp group to share their phone number and join the WhatsApp group. And then the other thing we noticed was um, the, one of the mentor asked the mentee to create a WhatsApp group and then he shared his or her contact with them. So that's what is working for some people. I, I don't know how it might work for you. So you might consider something like that. Thank you so much for that. Thank okay, you. again, I, um, in addition to the submission by Dr. Zainab and my fortune, uh, I think uh, we need to leave it to the mentor mentee to figure out what works for them. It should be a customized communication channel targeted at delivering the ultimate goal of this mentorship. If I want to take, for example, Professor Fuwape that uh, was mentioned earlier, she's a vice chancellor, so she's very busy. So different mentors will have uh, different 
situation that's with their men they with their mentees and they discuss and establish approved uh, communication channels. Some may say, feel free as you want, whatever works, what we want is results. So please make it customized to your case. Thank you. Thank you so much for that addition. Yes, I 100% agree with you. So next we'll have Mr. Olusui, Dr. Olusui. I hope I pronounced that right. Your hand has been up since your hand came up almost right after DBS. So. Please unmute and speak. Thank you. Okay. Thank you, coordinator. Please, can you hear me? I need to be sure Clearly. you can hear me. Clearly. That's good. So as a way of introduction, my name is Dr. Olushui Kolawole Michael. I'm from Nigeria. I'm a medical doctor, a consultant, family physician. Uh, I'm happy that I have this opportunity to also give back to people. So some people mentored me up while I was doing my residency training and it's a good thing given to the community. So thank you, the coordinators. I received uh, a, a mail that four, five mentees have been attached to me. So one of them uh, mailed me two days ago and I replied him or her immediately. So the concerns that I just want to, to raise is that um, even though I told her that we will start the communication with email, but I want to suggest maybe we can have something like a Google workspace whereby we, we register uh, as a team, then we share email for the mentee and the mentor. Google Workspace can use both mail and also Google Meets, and uh, it will have uh, 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 other features uh, apart from the free uh, free versions and can be regulated at a central point by maybe by and uh and admin so even this zoom that you are paying for you may not even pay for it we can use uh google meet directly even for mail we can we can also chat we can exchange files so that is one then secondly i want to find out uh what are the rationale that we use to to um to partner mentors with mentee. Because I'm in medicine, someone is in biology, maybe someone else is in engineering, I don't know. It, it will be better if, if we can use a uh, closely related uh, field to partner people. So not just uh, um, randomly. I don't know how, sorry, I really don't know what method that you used for that then lastly i want to suggest that we we create a uh, a, a a form online form maybe microsoft form or um, um, google form whereby we will know in details the uh, the background of the mentee their features their capability aspiration and all that because if I keep on getting mails from five mentees, I may not know the last communication that I made with them. I may not, I may not know uh, who they are. I will have to be checking my mails uh, again. Whereas if, if you have uh, gathered the features, the background, the start sources of all the mentees and you uh, uh, um, create them together and you send it to each of the mentors. So it's just for me to just open up that file and see, okay, this is what, I mean, this is the person that I'm dealing with. She's from this field, she's from this country. Uh, she has this, she has that. So that will make the work easier. Thank you. Thank you very much, Dr. Ajayashree for that. Sorry, Ulushi, I'm sorry, Dr. Ulushi for that. 
Um, so I'll just respond to some of the questions and I'll let the rest, I'll let my team to add their voice to it. Um, Yes, I like the idea of Google Workspace, but just as um, we said earlier, and um, Professor Eukarya also bought trust, you and your mentees will decide which method is best for you. My only concern with Google Workspace is the free version does not allow you, does not allow you to record with Google Meet. It's only the paid version that allows you to record. Unlike if yes. you use- I, yes. I, yes, I- suggested that we should register as a hub, as a team. There, there, are, there are different prices for single person, maybe for less than 10 uh, people, for 100 and above and all that. So the higher the number of team members, the cheaper it becomes. And it, uh, it can be regulated centrally. Even people can uh, know what you are doing. They can monitor you, so, I mean, uh, um, um, uh, re remotely, you can record. You can you can customize it. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you. But um, as I said, this program is like purely volunteer basis. It's not a um, this arm of the program is not funded. So getting the funds to pay for Google Workspace is going to be a really big challenge. Except of course, if there's any mentor mentee team. Like say, for example, you as a mentor, if you have like a paid Google workspace, then you're, if you're willing to share, to bring your mentees into that space, it's totally fine as long as there's an agreement between you and your team. So, um, but for now we're unable to, we're unable to um, fund such um, um, additions. I know it will make work easier, but unfortunately funding is an issue for us. Then on the issue of how we came about um, the matching, um, if you remember when you were during the application, one of the questions we asked in the application was what is your specialty? But the problem was that we grouped biomedicine and healthcare together. And because we didn't ask you to further specify, so everybody who filled but everybody that's been paired with you was applied on the biomedicine and healthcare. But we're unable to tell what their specific specialty is. So if you find that um, there's somebody who is in maybe say biological sciences that fell under your group, it's because we couldn't tell because of we, it was a broad heading we used. But at the same time, sometimes you might find somebody who, who was assigned to you, they're not in your specialty, but maybe all they wanted is career guidance. And we realized that maybe you're a professor in one university and they are new lecturers. All they want is career guidance. Okay, so I'm a new lecturer. I just want to have an idea how I can progress and get to the highest level of my career, not necessarily a research mentoring. So it's possible that you got such mentees too, but if you got a mentee, they're definitely under biomedicine and healthcare. Then lastly, um, I like the idea of um, Google Form, but again, it forms under, it falls under what you think works, works best for you and your group of mentees. But what I would suggest is to make the work easier for you. Again, this is just a suggestion. Let me underscore that. If you can agree, if you can have, um, group meetings with them and then maybe allow maybe like one meeting in a month between you and any mentee that might have special requests so you're not overwhelmed because we know mentorship isn't an easy thing because you already have a full-time job you have other things to do but that is just a suggestion thank you I don't know if other members of my team have something to say and then we hear again back from Dr. Lushi before we go to the next speaker coordinators we have two or more hands. Uh, yes. okay uh Okay, fortune go. No, Prof, go ahead, please. All right, so I, I want to add to the beautiful response uh, you have given and thank uh, Dr. Olusi for his expertise. He's going to volunteer to this pro project. Um, we, we know that different mentees have different uh, milestones they have covered in the career path. So Maybe at advanced stage we can think of that not on this particular um, on this particular project. Maybe subsequent ones we can think of that moving. Despite the fact we don't have funding now, so that uh, specialized uh, module of operation for the mentor and mentees 
would work better. So mentor can find different points of their mentees and give them different ways. They can say we talk with WhatsApp, but you can give one person opportunity to call you without others knowing. You have a target or meeting their needs. So you can have also even in the group, another specialized form of assistance to one or two from among your groups. So we'd like that to happen um, based on graduated uh, milestones and expectations of your um, mentees. So we, uh, we thank you for appreciating, for also accepting that we will go this way in our structure that is guiding the project. So we don't move off this track and we, and we hope that lessons will be learned. And when we review at the end of this project, we can put in lessons learned in the subsequent cycles. Thank you so much. Fantastic. Thank you. Fortune? Yeah, thank you, Prof. I, I wanted to respond to the third question from, from, from Dr. From Dr. Luce. Sorry about that. We would send the bio data to you. We'll send it to all the mentors. I think that's a very good uh, suggestion. We'd we'll send the information to the information you need. Thank you so much for that. So now there are three hands up. I can only tell that I can only tell from the names that one person is a lady. So I'm going to be forced to be biased. I don't know who raised their hands first. So I'm taking Elizabeth. Elizabeth, please unmute and speak. So Lehman Bello, you'll be next. Elizabeth. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, okay, I'm one of the mentees that were chosen for the program. I want to say a big thank you to the whole team members. But on the email I got, I didn't see the email of my mentor, so I didn't know how to reach out or contact her. What field are you in? Anatomy. Anatomy. Okay, um, so what will happen is, could you send an email to the, re reply to that email and um, complain, and then we will sort that out. Sorry about that. Question, is that good? They should send okay, thank an email. You. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. So next, Suleiman Bello. Okay, uh, thank you very much. Uh, my name is uh, Dr. Suleiman Bello, a lecturer in Omar Musa Eredo University, Kasana, Nigeria. My complaint is the same as the complaint of my other colleague that just uh, spoken. I have not received any email telling me that I am paired with so 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 and so 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 mentor. Uh, I read, uh, I am a physicist. And my area of specialization is in radiation biophysics, or specifically environmental radiation protection. So I don't know if maybe I, I am, am I also sending the email as you instructed her to do? Um, if you didn't, you, did, you didn't receive any email telling you you were successful and you didn't receive an email mm -hmm. telling you you were not um, chosen either. No, I received an email telling me that I am successful and informing me of the meeting for today. Okay. But I am yet to receive any email pairing me with a mentor. Good, all right. Um, thank you. Um, Fortune has been very proactive. He's posted an email in the chat box. So if you okay. can just send an email to that email, we'll sort you out immediately. Once again, apologies for that. Please bear with okay, us those thank are, um, you. human errors and teething problems. Thank you. So next we'll take after oh, Hannah okay. and Serena, I'm sorry, I hope I pronounced that right. It's after Hannah, by hero Serena. Please speak. Hello, good evening, Ma, and welcome. Thank you for giving me the opportunity to be part of the program. Are you with me, Ma? Yes, we can hear you. Questions is that I have received an email telling me that I'm among mentors, but uh, as my colleague said, I did not receive any email again from my mentees. That's number one. And number two, in regards to our project, are you the one that provide the guiding principles on how to uh, deal with our mentees? in regards to resource materials, who are we the ones that sought for it? Thank you. 
Okay, thank you so much for that. So for your first question, I think the response is clear, just like the first two questions, the first two um, speakers before you, just send an email to the email address that's just been put in, um, put in the chat box. For your second question, I'm not sure I fully understand, but let me respond if you're asking about what uh, materials, what criteria did we use to match mentor and mentees? I discussed that when I was responding to um, Dr. Lucy. We have a set rubric that we used to match people. So for example, because we had an overwhelming number of um, mentors, we had more than 10 times the number of applications from intending mentees to the mentors. So there's absolutely no way we could find everybody. So we used set rubric. So for example, um, if you've applied to be a mentee and your area of specialty does not fit into any of the categories of those who applied to be mentors, then there's no way we're going to be able to take you. For example, somebody said he was, um, one mentee application said they're into um, robotics and none of the mentors, none of the few people who applied to be mentors was into robotics. So of course we had to reject. Um, another one said they specifically wanted a mentor from a certain country, a specific religion, a specific gender. Unfortunately, we couldn't take that kind of person, even though their, their field of specialty matched those of um, um, those who applied to be mentors. Some also said what they wanted from the mentor was financial support. And unfortunately, that's totally out of the scope of what we want. So we had all those things in our rubric. And that was what, so those are the things that we considered in matching them. So if I've answered your question, fine. But if I haven't, do please clarify your second question. OK, thank you, ma'am. The question has been answered. Thank you. Thank you so much. Um, the team, the mentoring, the coordinating team, is there anything you, is there anything we should add before we go to Howard Sells? The last hand up. I think we're doing very good with time. Yeah, I think you're doing very well. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. So, um, Dr. Howard Sells, can you unmute and speak? Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. Um, my name is Dr. Howard Sells. Um, uh, I would really thank each and every one of you for specifically matching us with our uh, mentors. And uh, I can see my mentor on the OXO platform, uh, Victoria Okafo. And I believe um, uh, it, I received my email late actually, uh, but I'm going to, I'm hopefully reaching out to her so that I could start the program and take my career to the next level. But my question is, um, just like you said, we'll, look for a possible medium in which we can be interacting. Um, well, I will leave it to uh, the mentee mentor uh, interaction. So I will just say kudos to all of you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. Um, Dr. Lushi is raising hand again. But before yeah. I come to you, I'll just ask if other members of the coordinating team have anything to say before I yes. take this hand. Yes, please go ahead. Yeah, thank you, Dr. Designer. Please, um, if you've not received the mentorship or mentoring or matching email, sorry, please, we advise or suggest you check your spam. Thank you. And thank then you. if you have to send any query, we hope you would send it today or between today and tomorrow. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Um, so Dr. Lushui, please speak. Thank you so much. Uh, it has been going on very fine. Uh, you mentioned that the, the mentor should contact the mentee, but- uh, no. Uh, this, no, no, the mentee, okay. sorry about that. Sorry to interrupt you. We think it is only right that those who are requesting help should reach out to those who want to be helped. Except exactly. of course, if it's a mentor, except, except of course, if as a mentor, you wish to reach out, what we, what we said in the email was for the mentees to reach out to their mentors. Thank you. Exactly, exactly. So I, I just want to um, um, clarify that. But what happens if a mentee did not even contact you at all? So I think the Except person is not ready. 
Yes, simply, as we said, mentorship is a mentee-driven process. So if the mentee does not reach out, except if you as a mentor feel you want to reach out because it's possible that there were problems along the way I have ended in their spam. I know people who program their spam to delete after some time. And it's possible that that happened and you feel you want to reach out to them, that's totally fine. And moreover, this is um, just the first stage. We intend to continue this pro process and there will be other opportunities for them to um, for them to reapply. So before I take um, Dr. Ebi Kafuak, where I've never met you, but I'm already loving what I'm hearing about you. Before I come to you, I'll just ask the other coordinators, do they have anything to say before we allow her to speak? Dr. Ngozi, Professor Kiria, Dr. Aneo. Oh, okay, uh, yeah. <laughs> thank you so much again uh, for the nice coordination. Um, I also want to remind us that the mentor mentees will be signing agreement. So we try to commit to those basic ethical uh, points in mentor mentoring relationships so people don't overstep their bounds because out of curiosity, excitement, sometimes in mentoring schemes I have participated in. So some mentees may overstep their bounds, bounce on you any time of the day, midnight, they're calling you in the morning. So there are ethical uh, um, points that we will commit to. So we'll be sharing that uh, soon so that we can commit to it. We really commit to it. We just want people to be very professional in the relationship. Uh, you can, after the relationship, decide to go informal or make anything you want out of it. But we just want to see that this scheme runs on some ethically uh, healthy points where we will all commit to it and be happy that we did. Thank you. Thank you. 100% agree with you. Thank you so much for that, Prof. Um, uh, Professor Ibi Inkafuakwe, your mentees have been sending me direct messages. They want you to speak. So I'll be giving you one minute. After that, we hear from Mrs. Victoria Okafor. Your mentees too are sending me direct messages that they want to hear from you. So please, if you could just turn on your camera. Let's start with um, Professor Fuakwe. Please speak. One minute. Thank you. Yes, please. Please go ahead. Good morning, Dr. Zina and other members. I'm happy to be here. And um, I didn't want to say anything, but my my mentees are the ones wanting me to speak, Sarah. <laughs> well, let me start by commending uh, the organizers of this mentoring program. It's a really good one. And I assume this is the first call uh, it is, but definitely it's going to be a successful program because mentoring is the way to go. I've always believed in it. And that is why I signed on to, to see how it goes. It's the way, there's no shortcut to it. It's the way to go. And I agree that each team both the mentor and the mentee should look for what suits them. What suits them? I mean, the way of correspondence and all of that. Of course, you have to choose the time that is suitable and all of that. So having the guidelines from what Professor Kerry has said will be very good so that both mentors and mentees know their boundaries. And um, I have two mentees, and good enough, they, they are in fields that I can relate very well with. Sarah is in GIS, and the other guy, I think Solomon, is in um, environmental physics thereabout. So I'm happy with the mentees I have, and I do know that we'll have good time to work together. Thank you so much for having me. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. Next, we're taking Professor Ozioma before we take Professor Victoria Okafor. Professor Ozioma, could you please um, turn on your camera? Let's hear from you. One minute, please. Professor Ozioma, I can't see you on my screen. But if you're there, please unmute and speak. But whilst we're waiting for them, if um, Professor Victoria is there, 
Professor Victoria Okafor, you can also unmute and speak. Thank you. Yeah. Good morning, everybody. Good morning. We'll really love to see you. Please turn on your camera if it's possible. Uh, it's okay. If it's next possible. time. <laughs> next Thank time. You. But I have listened to people and what they have said. Um, I was told of this, and I think I can mentor some people, provided that in my area, dated or areas that are dated to my field. With that, I don't have any problem. If they contact me, we can start. Thank you Thank so you. much for that. Thank you. Thank you. So. Um, if there are any other mentors here, we'll give you just one minute to speak. We have about eight minutes to close this meeting. Okay. I'm here. And I'm ah. a mentor. <laughs> yeah, I'm you're very Yeah, I'm a mentor to five people. Yeah. Um, so far, one person has reached out to me. And uh, when I saw the mail, I must confess that I was very, very happy. I said this person must be a serious person. And I immediately responded back. We have a lot to learn from each other. The young can learn from the old, and the old can learn from the young. So it's a two-way affair. However, if at the end of the day, the other four didn't contact me, we can chat them and see how they are faring, what the problems are so that we can start. So I'm glad to be a mentor. It's my first time. So it's going to be a lot of experience, a lot of experiences. Thank you. Thank you very much for that. Thank you, Dr. Sadebe. Um, if you're here, uh, after Karim Ali Bube, your mentees are calling for you. They want to see your face. They want to hear from you. But whilst we're waiting for you, um, Leonard has raised hand. Leonard, are you there? Can you unmute and speak? Yeah, hello, can you hear me? Yes, we can. Yes, we can. Yeah, um, um, Leonard, I'm also one of the um, mentors. I um, will be mentoring uh, for um, persons who have um, reached out to me. So um, just like what um, Dr. Ungo uh, said uh, their image was quite uh, encouraging and I'm looking forward to uh, meeting the remains so that we can schedule to lay out how we're going to plan to have a very good uh, uh, outcome for the project. So thank you. Thank you so much for that. Thank you. You must be in biomedicine and healthcare because I remember the name very well. I think I did your pairing. Thank you. So if I did something wrong, I'm the one you should shoot. <laughs> so um, any other, there's no other hand up. So, okay, someone hand just came up. Oh, good. Let's hear from Sanjita Shrestan from Nepal. Sorry, I hope I pronounced that right. Please go yeah. ahead. Uh, yeah, namaste everyone. Namaste. And I'm Sangita Shrestha. My name is Sangita Shrestha. I'm currently working as a chief of the nursing administrator uh, in Beer Hospital, uh, and I am also a member of IRB, IRB of uh, NAMS, that is National Academy of Health Science. Uh, I'm working as a nurse uh, since 23 years, and so happy to be a mentor in this program. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. So um, if, there are, if there are other questions, we have about um, two minutes to round up this. If there are no further questions, I will just ask if the other coordinators, if the other coordinators have anything to add and then we'll round up and then please look out for your emails. Checking your emails, because we'll be communicating very soon. The, um, we're hoping that the check-in meeting, halfway meeting will be in August but um, we we'll communicate the specific dates to everybody, mentors and mentees alike. But in the meantime, before that midterm check-in meeting, if you do have any questions, any concerns, please um, email the email address that was posted earlier and then we'll be very happy to sort you out. Thank you. All right, so looks like there are no other hands uh, up. Yes, please. Okay. 
Dr. Zainab, before we... Ah, our national coordinator is here. Yes, please. Are we concluding yes. already? <laughs> okay. Y yes. <laughs> Boy, if you do have anything to okay. add. Uh, all please. right. So, okay. So I just want to, uh, on behalf of the entire organizing team in Nigeria, Ghana and Nepal to express our appreciation to the mentors uh, because I know um, it's a lot of work uh, being a mentor and also the decision to guide and support individuals. Uh, we want to thank all the mentors that have signed up for this. And I also believe that um, you're going to be investing a lot of your time and energy into shaping the lives and careers of, of young people. And um, your mentorship will play a, a very big role in shaping the academic and professional journey of your mentees. So we want to say thank you to the mentors and for the work that you're going to start beginning from today. And I believe that um, this mentorship program will provide the mentees with the guidance, knowledge, and support that they need to navigate the challenges and complexity of their areas of interest. So thank you. Thank you, coordinator, for coordinating well. Thank you so much, everybody. Thank you. Thank you. Over thank to you, you, Dr. Zena. Yes, thank you so much. Thank you. So um, I, want, I wish to once again say a huge thank you to everybody for making the time to be here. Special thanks to the coordinators and even more special thanks to the volunteers to be mentors. As the national coordinator said, it is not an easy thing to do. And we really, we really appreciate what you're doing. And we're appealing to the mentees to remember that this is a mentee driven process. So do not expect that the mentor is going to reach out to you. Or if they've given you an assignment, you come for a meeting and you do not come that you've done the assignment. You do not prompt them that you've done it. You do, you've not been shown to do your bit. It's going to be hard for the mentor to keep pushing you because I wish, I wish we all familiarize, familiarize ourselves with the differences between a mentor, a sponsor, and a coach. While there are areas where they interact, a mentor is supposed to use this um, experience to help you. There's some hand-holding, but not as much as what you get for somebody who is a coach. And remember, again, this is a wholly volunteer process. They're not getting paid for this in any way. As we say, for those who are um, religious people, your, their reward is in heaven. So please do not make them suffer while they're waiting to get the reward from heaven. Thank you so much, everybody. So in the absence of um, questions, comments, I will say um, have a lovely weekend, everybody. And please check in your emails frequently because sorry, we shall be Sorry. Yes, please. Yes, please. Yeah. Sorry, we have like two questions and I want to respond to them before, maybe if you have anything to say. Yes, someone say, I really want to know what is expected of us, the mentees, and then uh, someone says, can someone give us a little background information of the program and what is needed from us, the newly selected mentees? So there are similar questions, right? So my response would be that when you applied for the program, you had like a specific uh, re need or request that this is what you wanted. Some of us said we want to publish in six months' time. Some of us said we want help with sales car analysis. So essentially, that is the aim of the program. The aim of those, this program is to meet that particular need that you identified. So while you have your mentor, your mentor is to help you actualize that dream or that goal. If it's to publish, present a conference or whatever you had in mind before you applied. So that's why you have the mentor. The mentor will help you actualize that dream. So that's uh, a response to that question. I don't know if any member of the team has a response, she or anybody can come in, please. Uh, yes, I remember somebody said something about that they joined late. We will be sending a link to this recording via email to all mentors and mentees so that if you need to catch up on something, if you missed, a, if you missed something, you can, um, you can catch up. Right, Mr. Fortune? Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yes, yes. yes. Thank you. Yes, thank you. Oh, there's one late hand up. I'm sorry, we're going to have to make that the last question we're going to entertain. 
So Grace Elumo, we're giving you one minute, 60 seconds. Your time starts now, Grace. Okay, good afternoon everyone. I really want to thank the organizers of this program. Um, I got the email from AutoAid and I, I have already contacted my mentor by name, Professor Mwachuko Alainka, and she replied almost immediately. And the mail she said, um, AutoAid has not already um, contacted her, but she's looking forward to the email and she's not in this meeting. So I wouldn't know, maybe, is it possible that she hasn't gotten any email already? That's my question. Yeah, so it's possible that maybe the email ended in ended up in her um, spam folder. But um, if you just do us a favor, please send an email to the email addresses posted to the same email address that was posted about twice to the chat box, AAMNR Nigeria. So please send an email to that, and then we'll be happy to sort you out. And please right. in your field, your specialty. Yes, he's just posted it again. AA National Hub. Okay ng at gmail.com they send the email at the earliest so we can respond uh, thank you thank you all right thank you so much everybody you must agree with me that's been a very productive meeting so have a wonderful weekend everybody bye-bye bye 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 and do have a lovely weekend thank you bye bye everyone bye everybody